you know, I can't, um, you know, I, I think AB's his own man. I, AB's almost 30 years old, but he'll be 30, I think, in the summer, you know? So I, I think... But you're uh, always patting him on the back. You know, because say, AB, I, I, I see that there is somebody inside of AB that can come out and be like a productive person to himself. Forget about society. Forget about all that shit. You know what I mean? Because, you know, people of society's fickle. But productive in terms of not getting in his own way. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, 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 and securing himself and his kids and his family for the future. You know what I mean? I mean, like, AB's been given opportunities that fighters would die for, die for, Pacquiao. you know what I'm saying? You know, forget about Pacquiao, just throughout his career, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and, he, and not to say that he's not been good enough to deserve it, because he has been, but, but there are also a lot of good fighters who never get such good opportunities, you know what I'm saying? So, I, all it is, 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 I see, like, you know, there's somebody there inside of him that, you know, I, I think wants to do it right. But he also just falls into all the um, all the pitfalls of, of the fame and, and all the pitfalls of of of, of, of all everybody around him. No, I don't think he's a frame fair. I think he loves fame. I'll be honest with you. I think AB loves fame. <laughs> but, but but I think he's I think he's uh, I, I I don't know what it is, man. I'm not a psychologist, but I tell you what, I, I do. From the streets of Brooklyn. Yeah, and I, that's what I'm saying. I, I do see somebody there that, you know, has so much potential. I just don't want him to regret it. I just don't want him to be 40 years old one day and 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 and, and be in a um, in, in some apartment um, and just be like, man, I had this all. In the, you know, some some ex fighters and and some ex champions that I, I even I came up with when I was a teenager and and they were in my gym and and they were just unbelievable. And now I see the way they what they're reduced to. You know, and so I I just don't want to see that. Like it's one thing when you see that the generation before you when you're coming up. It's another thing when you start seeing it in your own generation. You know, I mean, AB's a younger generation than me, so I, I feel like you know these these are young guys now. You know what I mean? Now I'm the older guy, and I've seen this. I've seen that. I've seen this this road, and I see what it leads to. You know what, what I mean? What is one of the biggest pitfalls you think that could happen? I mean, there's so much out there. I mean, th th first of all, spending money, not not controlling your money, uh, uh, trying to show off too much. Trying to show off too much will get you will get you spending all your money like crazy. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, thinking that you know. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't know uh, AB's finances, but thinking that you can be above the law and get yourself in trouble and whatnot, you got. I know you may come from the streets, but there's a reason the guys in the streets are still in the streets and they're not where you are. You know what I'm saying? And and if those guys in the streets, like the people in my neighborhood that were street guys, they made sure that I was always off the street. They made, if they if they if they would say, when I was when I was a teenager and I started doing good in my amateur boxing career, if they saw me in the street, they would send me home. They would call my house and be like, "Yo, get, get the fuck home." And then we call my house, and be like, "Yo, let us know if this guy if he don't show." home right now you know what I mean like like those were like you know obviously Italian street people might be a little different than you know I've been then in other cultures but what I'm saying is real street people are supposed to understand that, that a guy like AB shouldn't be in certain situations it's even if he's around them and friendly with them. You know, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know. Because AB is very vociferous, very loud. So, so he's, you know, he's very intimidating for somebody who just likes to be, who's a fan of his and likes to be around him. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's intimidating for some people. But but I think a true friend and a true family member, somebody who really cares, you know, will be real with him. You know what I'm saying? And I just think that, you know, you don't want to be in that position where one day you're, you're regretting a lot of things, you know? Uh, I, I do think he's young enough to make a, another run. Um, I was 29 and a half years old when I was to Amir Khan, and everybody wrote me off. So I had my whole second half of my career in the big run I made after, at, at around the age that Adrian is now, you know, AB is now. So, so there's definitely time to keep going. And I'm not saying AB's in a, might, he may not be in a better position. Who knows? For all we know, AB might own t 10 houses and have made great investments. And we have no clue, you know what I mean? But so I, it's none of my business. I just hope that it is there because when you when you're as I don't say this in a bad way, but you're as obnoxious as AB's been, you make a lot of enemies, and and people uh, and people are, are going to be happy at your at your downfall if there is one. So you want to make sure that you know you make take the proper steps to not have one. From what you've seen in clips and heard, do you think he beats men? <clears throat> um, stylistically, I don't. I don't. Uh, stylistically, I see the fight as a points win for Manny. Um, but um, you know, there's a lot of intangibles. You know, there's there's a certain issues that AB has had throughout his career that you, maybe with Kevin Cunningham, you'd hope that he's kind of uh, starting to overcome them and work at least working on them. You know, and uh, the other issues for tentative for Manny are at 40 years old, are his legs what they work? You know, because changing range was Manny's big bread and butter. And if, if you can't change range on AB, then you take away the complication from AB in, in closing range. Which is what AB's big, biggest problem is. So I'm not the doctor. I'm not Mother Nature. I'm not God. I'm not. I'm, so I don't know where, he, where Pacquiao's legs are. You know, we'll find out next Saturday night. You know, but um, 
the only way AB can be sure is if he's working on what he needs to work on. You can't fight this fight banking on Pacquiao having no legs. You gotta fight this fight and train for this fight banking on Pacquiao having the best legs and you, how do you overcome that and determine that. Then if Pacquiao has no legs, he does you a favor, God bless, you know? But, but you can't bank on somebody coming in uh, the, their, their B version instead of their A version. You just don't prepare for a fight like that. He's been talking a lot about, um, he's not too worried about the volume that he throws, yeah. that he's been working a lot on his timing. Yeah. What do you make of that? Well, the timing, if you're able to time a guy and counter punch a guy good, you're gonna you're gonna prevent him from getting off because he's gonna second guess his his, his output. You know, that's a lot of how I was able to beat Juan Diaz. There's a lot of the talk was you know how you, this guy who doesn't punch hard gonna be able to deal with this guy's output. You know, you time him. You know what I mean? You keep him at the jab, end of the jab, and you time him. Okay, AB's not really active with his jab, and it's harder to be active against a southpaw with the jab. But if he's able to time Pacquiao enough and get the respect, and you, and you all of a sudden you make a guy second guess himself. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I want to close that range right now. So yeah, does AB does AB counter punch a lot? That's another thing. He locks up so much he doesn't counter punch a lot you know what I'm saying? yeah he locks up a lot and it's hard to hit him clean but if he's not getting off counters aside from the short little uppercuts inside or whatnot that he's got to be it off counter from a longer far, from a further range in my opinion he's got to control the mid-range and not just the close range because the, if you don't get close to all the mid-range you don't get to the close range hmm. and that's it guys I appreciate you okay. yeah. <laughs> thank you for two, two and a half hours yeah, yeah, yeah I was supposed yeah. to go to the Clippers game